the Black Star Lord Triple Lead at your service. And welcome back to another video of Elite Dangerous. Where the hell are we now? Just waiting for the game to actually start in and kick up. But we just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I'm hoping we're going to travel a bit further than 128 light years away. I'm getting sick and tired of just having that one tiny jump. It should be like, it's like 400 light years is okay, but it's not far enough for the size of the ship and everything else. It's not what I would call a great distance. All right, I can pretty much do that in my anaconda if I wanted to in a couple of hours. But let's have a look at where the hell we are anyway. I'm tempted to join the expert, jump in, jump, jump out here and just fly to the edge of known space like Beagle Point and join the expedition. But no, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to see where this ship goes. If it just goes back around in circles and goes back to the bubble, then I'll be disappointed. But or draws a butterfly. Picture. If it draws a butterfly picture, then I might be interested. But if it does, just goes back to, this, back to the known universe, then it's pointless. People on site seeing saying trips to places that people have been to before and stuff like that. The original purpose of this ship take us uh, be some of the uh, systems now there's certain other points but since this is um, not the case it's been attacked by Thargoids, had to be repaired um, so forth so let's have a quick look I'm going to turn the volume up can I play around with oh, I'm not being knocking things over. I'm being a temperature gauge over. So let's have a look at options. Um, audio. Making sure I'm happy with that. Sound effects can go up to about there. Voice audio. That's just the volume of all voices. Max that out. Ship. Voice audio, you can get in there. Yeah, what's this? Place set options, uh, boosting the volume sliders. Make. Oh, I'll leave them there then. Yeah. Oh, that's. Uh, Oh yeah, cool sign. Okay, cool. Like that. I've really got to get back into driving on planets, maybe. So I'm going to go jump into the game, have a quick look. I still like to start up here with the space station, but you're missing one thing in this whole thing that everybody uses is ships. Not one single ship do you see in that picture. So Horizon is all about not ships, it's about buggies landing on planets and looking at the big space stations floating off into the distance saying, oh, a volcano destroyed my ship. Sorry, I'm just being sarcastic there. Okay, well, come on. There we go. What's this? I oh, chat menu. Uh, there we go. Play that. Have that play in the, that in the distance. Let's have a look. Are you kidding me? Look where we are, let's do it. 
Explore each one of these, and that's about it. G'day, how you going? We're just having a quick look at where the hell we are. Have a quick look at where the hell we are. I'm going to scan the system, that's about it. Now, um, was it this one? Ah, this is annoying. This is the thing I don't like, it's so sensitive. Anything else like that here? This is slightly faster than the other way, actually a lot faster, really. Um, but you only go to planets where you want to go to. And you can just scan it like this and go, oh, do I want to go here? It gives you basic information about that one, even though it's been scanned by the people. Freelance reporter Alexi Geo Bergman is on Vox Galactica. With FIA 
I don't like how it does that, so this is something you'd probably expect. Um, we would do this in the we would do this as explorers, and each one has its own unique sound effects as well because each planet has its own unique sound effects and, and stuff like that we've got to read today. So, can you imagine spending time in a spaceship doing this? Be different. You probably end up having the computer to do all this, but since we're uniquely um, I have to sum up all those, so good. High metal content world. I don't care if they've been scanned before, I'm just doing a basic scan so I can hand credits in when I get back to known space. I'll probably make I could make more money just going exploring. But I'll just go to Beagle Point and all that. I can make more cash that way, but I don't really need it. I want to see where the spaceship goes to. What else is down? I do apologise for not being here. I've been just sidetracked by other games. Which I do like. I do like this game, don't get me wrong, and I really want to spend time maybe going out into space and just exploring again, but I'm just, I really want to get, what's that, dark? Very dark region. <laughs> I like that. This is they uh, look like they sounds like very dark region, but Vela dark region. I don't know. Ninety six. We got four more to four more percent. Where is that over here? One hundred percent. That's done. Now I'm going to. Uh, I won't be able to go to that map. We're going to get out of this one. Take that out of that. In case we get annoyed by something, where are you going from? Fly away. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Actually, hold on, better arm uh, come to stop, it's a lot easier. Don't want to be drive through the universe going ah. So this is what it's got in that planet. Let's have a look at what they have. I could probably go exploring, but there's a lot of there's nothing really they've all been first explored on that, so I'm not worried about that. I just want to unlock them so I can see what they have on them and also for the ex Expression egg um for the data later when I go back to what's the name? So you could spend time just oh. I could spend time collecting materials again, but ah, uh, that's unnecessary. 
Let's have a quick look at my system again. I said before, it's not that far of a jump. I can do that in two jumps. So what is wrong with them? Why are they taking the time just to go up here? What? What's that one? It's a hundred lights on That's a white star. Nah. I'm not gonna bother trying to get back because where we are it's too far away from the main sun from the sun we want. So let's go back to back to there and we'll call that quits till next week. But sometimes I like to get out and get, get like flying a little bit because you get rusty flying but that's about it. I'm thinking I eventually might replace that one with a snowman. I don't know. Oh, here we are. Ah, yep. Oh, that's quite a You could scan. Uh, no one more. Um, no one more. That one. Let's have a quick look. That's it done. Let's see what that office is. Anything of interest? Oh. Oh, well. I could land on it, but uh, I'll have a look. I don't know how that did. I think it's his first scan, but I don't know if that improves the metal content content of it or not. Let's have a look, see when we get into here for some Like that improves you finding certain specific things. Yeah, it's worth being first discovered, but that's okay. So we'll go back to base and um. We'll park our ship to the next jump. That does look cool though. Oh. Oh. Just curious. Oh, there's flashing of lights. I thought they were um like the exhaust coming out a little bit because of flame. Does look cool, though. I really want to be able to have space like so I can walk. You imagine? Oh, stop! Yeah. You imagine going into here? I'm just sitting in position in the ship to have a look. Okay, hold on, let's get the fighter out, actually. Okay. 
Why can't I deploy? Am I too close to this? Let's try it. Try it again. Oh my god, there's no one more. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, we can mess lock, you can't do that on the mess lock. Imagine. Oh, trying to get it. Do we have lights in this thing or not? Not really good lights, are they? I'm trying to get into here without crashing. There we are. Now look at this. imagine getting into there, climbing in there? Right, uh, that'd be so awesome. Like, it'd be awesome just to walk around in that forest, having space legs. Right, you can actually then put missions here. You can have a gunfight going in there. Um, okay, we're going to try to find another way in there. You got all those spaces where you could actually go to. I mean, how awesome would that be? You know what I mean? Just look at that, how beautiful that is. Alright, and you can imagine how missions and so forth like that going into there and just exploring the universe. And it'd be so awesome just to um, do that. You can actually stay on these ships and just have mission after mission after mission in here. Like all the spaces here you can go to. But most people wouldn't. They. I don't know. I think that could, that could really make the game come alive and sink. No, adding these little things into it. Because that looks awesome there. You know, I'd love to be able to explore that. I'd love to be able to land on. Um, land on other planets like uh, planets with breathable air and all that that would be awesome maybe you have to come out here and do a space walk or something like that to fix something and you got flying aliens or something coming out here coming out here that would be so awesome to do so so you got all these areas you could potentially explore and to go around and see where they're, they're, they're missing opportunities here they're getting more people into the game and stuff like that you have still have these things which is the core of the game which is pretty much the ships and that but the bad buggies into it which is part of the game but it's not the core of the game all right um let's go the other end. and oh can we go down there
Where's the end of it? End of it, the end. Well, the end was... I want to try to fly in here. Used to this little little fighter. We got the lights on, don't we? Yeah, they don't really do much, do they? And you imagine to be able to do all that? It'd be awesome. Like even coming into here, fix something part of the ship. Um, just tiny things like um, that would make this game more alive. I think because it would be different like if we can land on um, certain type of planets but I'd like to be able to land on every type of planet yeah I want the blue light can we fit in there? My personal opinion, everybody's got their own opinions on it. I use the jets. They're warming up for another jump or cooling down. I don't know what they're doing. But you could have some fun with this thing. You got another drone here you could use. And you can have other missions here. Don't go into the big flame, flame thing, jeez. Don't go into the big flame things. <laughs> I hope I didn't get a fine for that. Didn't get any. I hope I don't want to get any fines. No outstanding bounties. Good. You know, they don't want to get a fine on this thing and then fly back to normal space. Yeah, I'm lucky. But anyway, that's enough of that one. We had a bit of fun. Um, but see what I'm saying, though? When you got those dome things, you could have missions in them. It would make life a bit more interesting. And you'd be able to do more. Anyway, the time is almost three o'clock. Um, I'm going to sign out of here. So pretty much, we have a look at where the hell we are. I don't go into blue things; they'll, they'll kill you. Um, but I said before, I won't. I said before, we should. They should actually make it so you can actually have space legs. I want to land on breathable planets. I want to be able to walk on breathable planets. And I want to be able to um, walk around the space station. Right? You could do so much more. Like the role playing game, right? Of this, you could make it to reality. Imagine going onto, one of the, onto that planet and you find an ancient ruin somewhere or a base, right? Or you go into a known bubble and you find a base where you can actually have the mission there. So, what it does is you land your vehicle there, 
you have the option to take your buggy out, which is stay in the horizon thing. Like, okay, you've got two, two setups at the moment, right? The normal one, which you can't land on planets. Okay, so, and you've got the one horizons, which you can land on planets. So there's two things you can already do. Now, create another one where instead of taking out the buggy, you can take out, where one we can create, take out the buggy, plus also you can walk. So you do have another sub, sub game. Create that one, so you then can basically walk around a fixed base. You can only get a certain amount of distance or whatever you have. You've got to limit. You might have to limit it because of um, the game itself or whatever. But then you have it so you can actually walk around the space station, or walk around the, this one here, or walk around the planet, or walk around your own ship um, and stuff like that. Interact with other things. A lot of people will probably just do it once and that's it. And I go, oh, that's fantastic. But if you add then content onto that like you can um add other things into the game that makes it doesn't have to be part of the main game but a sub game like the role playing versions and stuff like that create create that i just like looking at this world while I'm talking to that because it's that's actually quite awesome um but you oh, so for the wires please oh they fixed i don't know i don't know i would have covered those wires anyway um, what I'm trying to say is if you added that into the game itself you are then you're creating another level of playing so people who don't want to land on planets because just play the normal holly people who do want to land on planets and do all the horizon stuff can play horizons people who then want to uh, like CQC I'd like to see them put more bot uh, more bots into it and so you can jump like me to get the CQC I'll probably have to okay let's have a quick look let's see if we can get into a CQC before we go um that's the easiest way to do it I'll finish this video but I want to just lock this ship up and then we'll go into the CQC mode but I would like to see oh, I'd like to see that um, established so like to go into this you have to go to save to my menu yes and then we'll go into CQC mode so this is what you could do for the sub to the next game I'm um, gonna start arena you have a third option there where you can then do that now that's something else where you can go for the walk on the ship, walk on a space station, and then add missions into that. So let's have a look at the CQC while we're here, and see if we can actually get into a game. I've never played it. I've never been able to play it because not many people have played it. Okay, team deathmatch, deathmatch. Let's just go to deathmatch. Let's see if it has anything there. Rank one, I've got nothing here. Searching for a match. Now, let's say if you're playing, okay, if we're playing you know, any other game, most games would have found a match by now. Takes about probably two minutes for two to three minutes to find a match. In World of Warships, uh, World of Tanks, less than two minutes to find a match, but nothing. I'm not going to bother. There's nothing here, so I'm going to end this game anyway now. Uh, my name's Commander Black Star Lord Triple Lane at your service signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos, and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.